You emerge from the sea, the distant shouts of a lifeguard barely reaching your ears. The entire beach starts to panic. You glance over your shoulder. Something ominous stirs in the water. Before you can even think of the phrase, Loch Ness Monster, a looming shape rises from the deep, charging toward you with sharp, menacing teeth. If the Styxosaurus were still around today, what would we make of it? Strictly speaking, it wasn't a dinosaur, although it coexisted with many of them in the oceans. This marine reptile, a true marvel of the prehistoric world, lived between 70 and 85 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period, long before humans roamed the Earth. This creature, which could reach up to 10 meters, 35 feet, in length, was truly colossal. Its lengthy neck alone made up almost half of its body size, stretching to 5 meters, 16 feet, nearly three times the length of an average giraffe's neck. And despite its unusual body, it wasn't light by any stretch. Weighing over 3,600 kilograms, 8,000 pounds, it was comparable in size to a killer whale. So, what stopped this massive reptile from swallowing you in one gulp? Fossils of Styxosaurus have been discovered in regions that are now part of Kansas and South Dakota. So, if it were still alive, it would likely inhabit the coastlines of North America. However, spotting one in full might be tricky. You'd probably only see its head, and perhaps a portion of its long neck above the water's surface. The reason for this is simple. The Styxosaurus would bury most of its body in the murky, dark waters, giving it the appearance of being much smaller than it truly was. This helped it avoid detection and made it appear less intimidating to its prey, such as fish and squid, that it hunted in the depths. The feeding process of this ancient predator could have easily been ripped from the pages of a horror film. As Styxosaurus closed its jaws around its prey, its sharp teeth would interlock, creating a trap from which there would be no escape. But that's not where its methods ended. Some Styxosaurus fossils have been found containing over 200 small stones within their stomachs. These stones likely served a dual purpose, helping the creature sink to the ocean floor and possibly aiding in digestion. Despite its formidable teeth, the Styxosaurus jaws weren't built for slicing through flesh. Instead, this gargantuan reptile would consume its still-living prey whole, and the stones in its belly would help crush bones and scrape away scales, aiding in digestion. Now, let's say this sea giant spotted you in the water. Would you find yourself as its next meal? The average Styxosaurus had a head approximately 50 centimeters, 1.6 feet, long, with a snout around 30 centimeters, one foot. This means, if you were an average-sized human, there's no way it could swallow you in one go. You simply wouldn't fit inside its mouth. However, if it could somehow manage to swallow you, you would be plunged into a sudden, suffocating darkness as you slid down its long neck and came to rest in a pit of stones. There, you would be crushed to death by the rocks, making for a truly bizarre end. Thankfully, you wouldn't fit entirely into its mouth, so you're safe from such a fate. But that doesn't mean you'd come out and scathe. What could you do if you found yourself in the Styxosaurus path? If the creature was trying to bite you in self-defense, your best chance for survival would be to handle the situation like you would a shark attack. The worst thing you could do would be to panic and flail about. This would only make the Styxosaurus more curious. Instead, try to make yourself appear as large and intimidating as possible, though that's easier said than done when faced with a creature 45 times your size. If you manage to earn the Styxosaurus respect, it might decide you're not worth the effort and leave you alone. This would allow it to focus on smaller prey, like fish or squid. But even this wouldn't be without challenges, as there are other predators, sharks and killer whales, that also feast on these same ocean creatures. But here's a twist. While Styxosaurus might be eating fish and squid, it's possible that modern-day ocean predators could add Styxosaurus itself to their menu. Despite its intimidating size, 
the Styxosaurus wasn't really the top predator in its ecosystem. It had natural enemies, including ancient sharks that were likely as large as the modern-day Great White.